The Olympics was honestly so far-fetched in my eyes in the beginning that I didn't even like the fact that it came into play. The freedom has kind of been taken away a bit. That's kind of why we all started doing this in the first place was because there was no rules, there was no coach. It was all up to us. It was all in our own hands to go and do it the way we wanted to do it. Being a father is not hard. As far as like being there, being emotionally supportive and just being present, that's not really the hard part. I think the hard part is kind of just like, it's kind of almost like the never ending aspect of it, you know, whereas everything else in life you feel like you can complete or you can feel like the job has been done, but it's like, it will never end. You will always be a parent. You will always have to like fulfill those shoes of like, those kids look up to you for the rest of your life now, you know? So anytime outside of skating, even if I'm slacking off, they're gonna see that, you know? Or if I'm doing something wrong outside of skating or even in skating or wherever, like they're always watching. Trying to keep that balance of like, you know they're always watching you, so you always gotta be on your P's and Q's and do everything right, but at the same time knowing that you're not perfect, you're human, so you're gonna make mistakes. So how do you translate those mistakes into lessons? I put Jima on my grip tape because she's the one that raised me. If it wasn't for her, I probably would have been in foster care or adopted or who knows what. The fact that she did make me finish what I started has always been something that I've kind of like really stuck with, you know? Hence the reason I'll go to battle at tricks for like two and a half hours to the point where I'm pissing blood and don't show any mercy on myself. And it's like, that probably doesn't sound healthy, but that's what I learned as a kid of how to commit to things and stick them through finish what I started. Maybe it was a pride thing, maybe it was an immature thing, I don't know, but the fact they wanted to come in and like kind of take over it in a way and like put rules and limitations on it, I was so against it. I guess over the last five years, now that I'm kind of getting a little more familiar with it and I guess maybe maturing in my own mind, being a little less stubborn, I'm realizing that there are a lot of amazing values that do come with it, so. If I can get the opportunity to do it and be out there and skate for this country, then sure, I'll go ahead and take that opportunity. China was a roller coaster of emotions for me out there. Started off not wanting to be there in all honesty. The last year and a half has been pretty rocky with contests. In and out of finals, confidence was just real low and like, let you know, a little personal side, I only see my kids on the weekends right now, so to be gone for two weekends for that was just like weighing pretty heavy on me. I was literally like about to fly home, like the day I got there. And then lo and behold, like for whatever reason, this dude I hardly even talked to decides like to like hear me out and like reach over and goes, dude, like, you know how many people are inspired here, like myself included, like just go out there and skate. For some reason, that one actually resonated with me. It was just like, all right, you know what? God, Grandma, I'm leaving it in your hands at this point. It would be pretty cool for later on in life for my kids to be like, yeah, my dad was an Olympian. I don't know, yeah, the skating thing was just kind of like almost like a blur because there was just all this other stuff going on that like, I mean, honestly, I thought I had no shot in hell of making it to the Olympics until China put me in the third place position on the podium, and it was like, oh, you're on the team again. Like, you're back on where you need to be to like potentially go to the Olympics. And then they were like, yeah, you basically just don't do bad in Budapest, and someone else has to do amazing, and you're on the team. And so there was some comfort in knowing that and uh, knowing I didn't have to do amazing in Budapest like some of those dudes had to do to like make their spot. To be honest with you, the hardest part about it was everything else outside of it trying to just navigate life and all the stressors on the day-to-day -day that, that I go through with this whole life situation crap that I got dealt with. Right before Sharjah, before the first Olympic thing even started, my grandma was diagnosed with stage four cancer. There wasn't even really like a, like, oh, like it's kind of bad, but we might be able to work around it. It was just like, no, she's got about two years left and there's no stopping it. And I was like, oh, sh all right. Man, when it rains, it pours on, so I'm only so strong, you know what I mean? So I had to do what I had to do to keep myself afloat, which is not always the greatest thing, you know? You turn to, you turn to your demons and you, you, you go with those for a little while, and well, that lasted all of about nine months where I was seeing the results go from like almost making finals or making finals to like 37, 41st, and I was like, oh, this is starting to look real bad. 
I was so fed up, I was done, dude. Like I couldn't, you know, not to mention for those that have followed along, like my life ain't always been peaches and cream, dude. It was like this from day one, you know what I mean? Born, mom's on drugs, dad's on drugs, dad dies at seven, being raised by my grandma, mom gets sober, starts to live with me at 11. Like I never really had the straight and narrow path that a lot of people get to grow up with. So it was just kind of like, at this point now in my later years, thinking, all right, I, I had surpassed that, started a family, was doing good for myself, and then this aspect of life is now crumbling down. It's like, how do you win? You, to me, it felt like I couldn't, you know what I mean? I was just like, dude, I've done everything I possibly could, and I'm still in this position again now at 27 years old. It's like, this is like, how bad is this gonna get? You know, all right, I guess I just gotta suffer in it. And then I don't really know what gave me the idea to just like kind of throw away the vices and whatnot, but after throwing away the vices, lo and behold, I hear this voice in my head, and it was my grandma, and she's telling me, not yet. I didn't do all that and raise you and put in all that work for you to go out like that, uh-uh. And I freaked out, dude. I was like, oh my God, what, are, whoa, what am I, what is happening to me right now? Like, it was so vibrant and real in my head. Like, I heard her talking, you know what I mean? I'm just like, what am I going through? Sure enough, like, just a cold turkey did, and started taking my supplements again and my vitamins getting healthy and granted it wasn't like I went from zero to 100 it was took a few months to kind of get my feet back under me and whatnot but then fast forward to China that one I got third place if you remember the trick I landed for that final was a nollie over hill back 180 in Budapest I just tried that four times didn't make it but I had one try and I remember telling I looked down at my grip tape that I write Gma on every time now and I looked down and I went all right grandma you got me this far this trick's not easy for me you and I both know that. I'm leaving it in your hands and rolled in. I couldn't even remember how my feet were set up or what. I just trusted it, you know what I mean? And lo and behold, it was rolling away. I was like, all right. And now ever since then, I just, it's just been a thing I do now. Every time I drop in or I try something, it's just like, all right, come on, grandma, here we go. Like she's with me every step of the way. And so yeah, it's, now it feels like the complete turnaround from zero to a hundred after the last six months. And she was right, we ain't done. To be honest with you, I could care less how I do in this contest, you know what I mean? I'm stoked to be going and I'm stoked to have the opportunity, but winning isn't what I'm going for. I'm just going to go ride my skateboard and do what I love, which is a blessing to me in itself that I still get to do that, especially after those those times and whatnot. And so I think more than anything, it's just my grandma's way of telling me like, hey, look, you weren't done and this is why, and go out there and have fun like you always have.